Oh man, this is really funny. I'm experimenting with having the player be a little bit taller here. It just looks so funny with these long legs. Oh my god. It's hilarious. Anyways, I started animating today. This is so great to get into the animation art side of my brain and just let that flow rather than mostly programming all the time, you know what I mean? These shadows I'm so happy with. Look at them. Wow. Yes, but now I'll be working this week on on animations, getting this sword animation to start looking cool and feeling better too. Like when you hit these stone pillars and stuff like that, there should be smoke and sparks and all sorts of fun stuff going on. And that's what I'll be working on this week, just making the sword feel awesome. So that's, um, yeah, that's really all I'm working on. Just doing animations here in Magic of Voxel, which I'm starting to find out some limitations I wish I could, wish I had known before maybe i would have switched to goxel sooner i'm not sure if i will switch to goxel but that's one thing i could do because magica isn't open source i'm always i'm always like ah i wish i could do this and i can't change it so maybe i'll maybe i'll switch to goxel and start having my own custom build of it um something like that but anyways look at how funny this guy looks with long legs it's not hilarious so i probably will actually end up you know making him have actually longer legs but <laughs> Not, not that long. And then like extending the torso a little bit too. Because here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get this look like Songbringer, right? Like I'm trying to get these my, my voxels to look sort of like the pixels did. And with the pixels, I was sort of trying to render or draw everything at sort of like a certain camera angle. We're talking like it's like 30 degrees angle down or 40 degrees angle down. Somewhere around there. I'm not exactly sure because, you know, it was never exact. But anyways, in Songbringer, you're sort of you're sort of at this that slightly tilted camera angle, and um, it makes for when you're trying to draw all your pixels and everything, you really got to make sure you're drawing things at the right um, like this. Uh, where can I show this example? This is kind of an example right here, like this last frame right here. Even though this is a two-dimensional pixel art, see how his back foot is back a bit? It kind of gives you the feeling that it's in 3D, and he's actually sitting there and standing standing in 3d and it's every a lot of the animations you can see little bits that sort of make it look 3d right so but with with actually making things in 3d it's not you don't need to do that it's a totally different world you need to so it, actually when i'm when i'm you know if i'm here at a camera angle of zero rotation there on the x-axis i think anyways whatever the whatever axis is 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 zero right we've kind of got what would be like a platformer perspective, a, a side scroller uh, perspective. But when we scroll a little bit like that, this is what Wraith Binder is going to be. It's something like a around a 30 degree ish rotation all the time. But when you're at this camera angle, your legs, your character just looks shorter naturally, right? If we go, actually, let's check out um, the originals of those. Oh, I'm just. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so there, there he is in his. Um, see, when you're at this angle, right, he looks a bit taller than he does right there. But anyway, so what I'm going to try and do is try a trick where I just make him a little bit taller and ignore that fact whenever I'm looking at it head on, and sort of just go for something that looks good at this particular camera angle, right? So that's kind of my plan. But it's fun sort of like messing around with, this is a totally really rough sword animation. I just started just like really rotating things quickly and just tried to get something in place so that I've got something basic for a sword animation because I need to get that in there. Even though even though all these pixels are kind of crappy, when you animate it and you see it live, it kind of actually looks all right almost. You know, it's better than nothing. So I've got to like, you know, get some sort of like animations in place and make them look right. See how this that green square, um, I really want the animation to sort of cover that whole green square if possible, or at least more of the green square than it currently is so that it looks really accurate or it feels really accurate when you connect with something, you hit an object or another player or whatever you hit, it just feels right because the animation is reaching enough to that wherever it's, it's you know, the, the area that it's covering. So lots of things to consider here this week. Um, it's going to be really fun. I love weeks like this where I just get to work on art and making things feel right. The juiciness of the game engine. That's fun stuff. So I'm in a good place. Thanks for watching this video. And um, yeah, more progress later.